All right, boys, we, uh, we got a dilemma. This is I-80, so we're sitting right about here, and they have shut down I-80. Look at that snow. I don't know what decision I need to make here, but I ain't sitting around, because I told the guy I want to drop tomorrow. They didn't want it. Oh, I don't know why my mirror's that way. They didn't want it initially until Thursday, and I'm like, so they're paying to expedite this load, right? This load pays a lot of money for a Ram 2500. They're like, yep, needs to be picked up ASAP, but then they're like, Thursday. And I'm just like, wait a second. 42 hour drive, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, in six days? I was like, hell no, I'm doing that shit in four. All right, which is 100% doable. So, I'm gonna fill the truck now, and then we're gonna go and see what decisions I need to make, but uh, we're at the one nine right now. So, I'm gonna get out. I got shorts on, and we'll see how cold it is, because it says it's 24 degrees. My door is frozen shut. <laughs> Holy shit. I went to open the door and it just wouldn't. I gotta go out there, and I don't, I don't want to. I should have heed the warning. I saw, I was scrolling TikTok last night and someone's like, this is I-80 right now and it's snowing. And I was like, oh shit, I'm coming through there. Ah, I didn't think anything of it. I should have thought something of it. I'm an idiot. All right, I've even more fucked. My uh, fuel door won't open. It's frozen. I don't know what to do here. My, I went to put the key in. The key went in, but it wouldn't turn. It's frozen. Um, I don't, I don't know what to do. It's so cold out there. So everything's frozen. I couldn't get this to move. So I had to put it in four low. Ignore the forbidden lemonade. It would not move. Now we're moving. All right, cool. I'm gonna put her back in, in two. And I'm gonna go move somewhere else. And also that entire parking lot last night was frozen solid. Like, that is a solid sheet of ice. Last, Like, the dude parked there last night, he was parked here, and the water was physically up to, say, the bottom of the rim. Yeah, this is all water here. Oh, I should not have parked last night. Everything is ice, I hit the brakes, and the wheel just went like this when I hit the brakes. I'm gonna clean the mirrors off, and I'm gonna try to do what I can to get this thing unthawed. And the Loves is so far away because they, I think they have the highway blocked. So I'm gonna make sure I'm fully prepared. I have food. I wanna make sure that I don't have anything in my system. Clean the mirrors, make sure we're warm. And just in case anything happens, because this is, uh, this is probably gonna be pretty bad. Well, boys, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the fuel island. Oh wait, no I'm not. I bought a four wheel drive. Oh, even then, I'm gonna throw the forbidden lemonade away. So I still have a little bit of fuel, so I decided to start sending it. And what doesn't make sense to me, maybe there's a good reason for it. I don't understand why they don't just maintain the highways instead of closing them down. Maybe somebody crashed, I don't know, but they make you, well, I have to basically take these back roads just to get myself through, because if not, I'm gonna be sitting here till 7 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm just running four by, trying to drive, you know, driving slow, just to keep myself moving. Rather than uh, sitting all the way until tomorrow, it just, I, I'd rather keep moving. I've driven through plenty of these, as long as you take it slow and you're safe about it. I've got plenty of weight and uh, 10 ply tires, so it's not like, you know, it's not like I have hard tires, like, you know, the commercial guys, like 14, 16 plies, you need chains and shit, because they're so hard. This whole shit is a solid sheet of ice. I'm in four by, it's still, still pretty sketchy. Uh, we got a few whiteouts. I have like a mile and a half on this road yet. So we're gonna take her nice and slow. Not doing anything crazy, we've got the plow truck on the other side, and, uh, it is so windy. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but I can see better in the camera than I can in person. 
just a fucking big ass tornado of snow and ice. Take her slow, we'll be all right. All right, everything's frozen and people are just flying. So what I did, I beat the shit out of it with a can of baked beans, but that didn't take care of the frozen problem, but I had a lighter. So I took the lighter, burnt the shit out of the key until I couldn't touch it, and now we can get fuel. Guys, it actually works. So I have enough to fill this tank about one and a half more times. And I guess we'll go over the load now. I, uh, I did go and put some pants on that actually work, but everything looks all right. Everything is frozen solid. 21 degrees, the truck idled up earlier, but then idled back down for some reason. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna see if, uh, if the welder will fire too. I don't know if it got enough rain in there, but let's just try it. Yo, she fired up. She ain't happy, but she's up. I'm gonna let that warm up for a little bit. Probably not the best thing to do, but it is what it is. It is 21 degrees and that thing fired right up. That's awesome. And the GPI pump works. I was worried about the pump. I really am putting this stuff through the torture test. Like the boost mirrors, we're trying them out in weather that's just shitty. And I started wearing gloves for like shit like this. Yeah, this uh, this is ass, but there is other drivers out on the road. Um, people are flying. Uh, we had a guy earlier actually blow past the plow on this two lane road. So like that, that dude's flying too. It's like, man, I'm doing like 30, 40 maybe. All it takes is one gust of wind. Look, bull haulers don't give a fuck. All right, so I got stuck. I didn't think to film it. I went to pull a Yui here and got stuck down in the dirt down there. We had a farmer stop and uh, he pulled me out. No uh, tow truck wouldn't do it. So this guy just stopped and was like, hell yeah. And uh, he didn't charge me anything. And I'm like, you know what? Here's 50 bucks. I'm good with that just to uh he's like no I can't take that and I'm like nah man take it because I appreciate you for doing that so he's gonna back in get his stuff appreciate you man got a semi backing down the mountain this I mean this is pretty bad yeah dude's literally backing down the mountain Probably got halfway up, realized he couldn't do it, and, uh, dude, he's fucked. Like, that dude, he's fuck fucked. So, I'm gonna do a walk around in the truck here in a little bit, but I did have one instance, I was going, I think I was doing about 45, which, mind you, everybody's, like, flying. And, uh, that's the closest I have ever been to totaling a truck, let's just put it that way. The, a gust of wind hit it, knocked the entire thing, like jackknife typed. I was looking down the ditch at an embankment, counter steered it, saved it the other way, trailer kind of hit the ditch thing. Then I ended up in the middle of the road and somehow I saved the whole thing. But man, that was the closest I have ever seen to some bullshit. I'm doing like 30 now. I'm not, I'm not playing with this uh, storm like some of these other guys are. Just, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it a casual slow. We got about 22 miles until we hit 83 north, and then we gotta hit that. And I'm hoping we can just get out of this blizzard in general. Like there's times even with four wheel drive it'll kick sideways. See, like right now, I'm just trying to grab the that right there. As long as I can grab that, we have traction. Oh, Bertha's trying. I'm not trying to like overwhelm the tires. Just give it enough to go. Because once you start spinning, you're kind of fucked. All right, we just got up that mountain. You can see the yellow. Everybody's finally taking it slow. So we're just chilling. ABS and brake light came on when I was stuck in that ditch. Uh, I broke something. But that dude's been sitting there like that for a minute now. I don't know if he's passing something or what, but that left lane is even fucked more than this lane is. And then according to that, it says there's an accident up ahead. So I, uh, I don't know. 
Also, it's raining. It's 20 degrees outside, but it's raining. So that's cool. Oh, I see now why he's doing it, because this road, this side's bumpy as hell, and over there's smooth, so let's slow down. We're doing, no, let's say about 25 is what they're doing. Well, there is an accident. Somebody uh, crashed, and I don't think we're gonna get very far, because they're stuck. The mountain is stuck. We're, this is a pile up. All right, so I'm gonna go outside and freeze for you guys. It's 27 here. It was 20 a minute ago, but whatever. But I'm gonna get out and uh, this is solid ice. So we're gonna go over everything. So truck got caked. Holy shit, you can hear that wind. This is all solid ice right here. But um, yeah, luckily trailer didn't get coated. But I did, uh, I went down into the ditch earlier and luckily saved it like down into one of these and then the back end swung out on me. Yeah, all that. I'm really glad that I have the straps in the back because I think that's what saved the boat from flying off the trailer. Look at this side. She got caked, but yeah, somebody fucked up down there. I'm gonna fall on my ass if I keep this up. This is solid ice. I'm getting back in the warmth of the truck. Well, might as well get fucking comfortable because uh, we ain't moving. We're not going anywhere for a while and I'm not worried about it. I'm just, I'm gonna make the best of it. Just gonna chill, got my feet up. It's windy, sol I'm parked on a solid sheet of ice. Hopefully it doesn't push the truck down the ditch, but it is what it is. Everything is frozen. What would have been better? Staying at the truck stop and never knowing or going out on the road? I mean, I'm closer than I was. That's all that matters. I'm not worried about it. I'm all taken care of. Um, I got plenty of food, plenty of water. Looks like some guys are taking the back road up there. I think we're starting to get movement. Hell, I can see better on this thing than I can with my own fucking... See, I don't know what's over that mountain. I don't know why we're stopped. Let me try to zoom in even further. There's something down there. They're coming down. Plow truck's coming up. I see movement right there. I guess we're gonna start moving. which is gonna be pretty scary because that's a big mountain. I'm gonna wait for the guy in front of me to take off. And then when he takes off, then I'm gonna go. I gotta be super careful. This, like I said, all ice. Look at that guy. Beautiful. Empty. Hey, someone's, let's see what happens. I think we're all just letting them crawl one at a time. And hopefully he makes it. Dude, that's... That driver be shitting his pants right now. Because he's got to get the whole way up from a dead stop. Is that a sheriff? Dude, I love playing zoom in with... Oh, hold on. I lost it. I love playing zoom in with my camera. <laughs> that fucker zooms so well. Yeah, I take that back. We're not moving. Buddy got stuck halfway up the mountain better him than me. I still don't know what's going on behind that hill. That dude's just sitting there fucked. So now he's backing down. Oh, he's going back up. He's giving it another run. Dude, what the fuck happened down at the bottom of the hill? I just want to know what's behind that hill. Right there. What's behind it? <laughs> fuck, I'm in the worst spot. Oh, he's making it this time. I don't know if this is the same guy as the first one. I kind of dozed off for like 15 minutes. There is a whole line of cars. Well, we're slowly moving again. Someone's going up the hill. The plow just backed the whole way down. I passed another ram on some wides. He's now behind me. I'm a little worried about this hill, but I also want to kind of get, like I'm curious on what happened. Suck to be the guy in the front, like who just has to sit there and just 
look at it the entire time. Oh, we're sliding. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stop right here. Because I'm just sliding. Yeah, Plowman is doing some defrost. But this whole side's fucked. Hopefully he makes it. Alright, I guess we're going around this semi. I'm gonna try to take it slow. Looks like there ain't shit. I don't know what happened. It said there was an accident here. We gotta be really careful going down this hill though. I'm just gonna hold it in second. It looks like they had to defrost it. It said there was an accident, but I didn't see one. I don't know. Today's just turning more and more into some fun. Look at that shit. Somebody fucked up. Well, we got people attempting it. We got a guy with a Ford Ranger with a dirt bike in the back. Oh, he's just pulling up to the front of the line. Gee. And then this guy's doing the same thing. And then this guy's doing the same thing behind him. Sick wheels there, brother. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit here because I got a boat. Now we're finally moving officers up there having a chit chat with pretty much everybody. I don't know what the deal is. We got like 20 some mile an hour winds. And Buddy's out there talking to everybody. Like, I, I'm curious on what he has to say. Stop to tell everybody, ride the shoulder. Keep her in four. Hopefully we're good. That guy's stuck. There was another one, but... Yeah, they got traffic the whole other way, too. Alright, so all said and done. Was it worth it? Well, I'm looking, and I-80 is still closed. Up to about the next wherever I'm going. Um, so I'm going to be getting back on I-80 and going west. And unfortunately... It took me six hours to make a two and a half hour drive. Um, mainly, I think I started the truck after I left the truck stop this morning. You know, trying to drive pretty conservatively considering what happened with the whole truck basically just kicking the way that it did and that whole embankment issue. If I had that shit on dash cam, like that, that was the closest butt pucker moment I've ever had. And... I feel like this whole thing is just a simulation because there is no way in shit that I should have been able to save that the way that everything panned out. Like, dead ass truck staring at the ditch, somehow overcorrects, going the other way, sends the trailers sliding sideways down the embankment, and somehow I drive back up and, and everything's good. Like, I don't get it. I'm gonna make the most of what I have left for the day and, uh, this whole thing's a we're like an hour and 20 from the love so let's just get out there this video is going to be long as shit so we are back on i-80 it is actually closed the other way they have signs and gates up and shit that like direct you off the highway so was it worth it yeah i'd say it was because it was either that or i'm gonna sit until tomorrow at 7 a.m so at least i'm gonna make some headway and I'm very picky about where I stay anymore. Very, very rarely do I park in the truck parking anymore because half of the fucking drivers can't drive and it's hard to get, you know, somewhere where you can actually park without getting hit. And at the same time, I'm an oversized, so then I gotta take up two spots. So I've just been parking on the car side with the RV. And unless I have a really long trailer, I don't really park over there. Like, this trailer's not hatefully long. I can park over on the car side. And Loves always has room for it. Whereas the Pilot and Flying J never usually do. So, we got about an hour left until the Loves. And then we're going to do a walk around. Alright, here's what she's looking like. We're going to get fuel here. I found a Flying J Pilot. And, uh, yeah, we'll just get fuel here. Here's how the trailer's looking. Everything looks alright. Nothing uh, bad yet. Check these straps. Yeah, after that fucking about fall earlier. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know how that. And then this side just getting caked.
Oh man. I'm gonna clean the window off and we're gonna call her good. Hopefully don't need too much fuel, but yeah, let's clean these windows off and uh, that. That's some satisfying shit right there. <laughs> 